CM365 all about Carnatic music. In the post Trinity period, we see that there have been quite a few composers who have been inspired by Sri Tyagarajar and have also imbibed his style in terms of the compositions they have created. And uh, one of them is Sri Patnam Subramanya Iyer, who followed Tyagarajar in many ways in terms of the Kritis that he composed. And uh, apart from this, of course, he has given us valuable Varnams, Javalis, and Tillanas. Sri Subramanya was born in Tirvayar, but the prefix Patnam came to be added to his name because of the fact that he stayed in Chennai for a great part of his later life. And uh, incidentally, he belonged to a very accomplished musical family. His grandfather was Panchanada Shastri, who was a musician in the court of Maharaja Sarfoji II. And his father also was very much accomplished in music. Thus, music was there in the atmosphere, I would say, as far as he is concerned. But later, he also got to learn music in a specialized way from Manambu Chavadi Venkata Subba Ayer, a direct disciple of Tyagaraja. So probably this has also played a major role in terms of influencing him in his thought process of the compositions that he created. Among the 40 Varnams that he has created, uh, very notable ones are the Navaraga Malika and the Abhogi Varnam. Abhogi like Yavari Bodaya Nagavini all of you must have listened to it and also learnt it as students. The next one, very famous. Valachi, Valachi, Yona, Na, Pai, Chala, Muse, Yame, Re, Sami. There in the Varnam itself, you can see in the latter part, his mudra, Venkatesha, which is used uniformly in all his compositions. And uh, as I was mentioning earlier, the influence of Tyagarajar can be seen in the sense that, especially in the compositions like in the Deshadi Tala of Tyagaraja, we see that the tune of the Anupallavi gets repeated verbatim in the latter part of the Charanam. And even the kind of number of lines which are there in the Pallavi, Anupallavi, Charnam, their melodic progression, everything seems very much similar to Sri Tyagaraja. We will now look into one composition in Shanmugapriya to see how this similarity happens. In fact, uh, sometimes if you don't notice the mudra, you would even confuse it for Tyagaraja's composition in the sense that the structure is so similar. And also he composed mainly in Telugu, which is uh, the language in which Sri Tyagaraja also composed. Now, he was also adept in the Tala aspect and it is said that he composed a very, very challenging Pallavi in the Simhananda Tala, which is of 128 Aksharas. 
and he was also proficient in singing the ragam begada and he could really go on and on in that and explore its possibilities thus he was also given the name as begada subramanya ayer and uh, he has also created a few ragas and one of them is the kadana kuduhalam in which you know the famous song raghuvamsha sudambudi that he composed this is a uh, very unique in the sense that Uh, there is hardly any gamakam in this ragam it is more like a western kind of a note like sari madani gapasa sanida babagarisa so this is a very unique uh, contribution of shri patnam subramanya ayer thus we could say that uh, shri tyagarajar and his compositional style has been a very predominant aspect i would say in terms of the composers who came later who were influenced by his compositional style and also imbibed it in a large way cm 365 all about carnatic music 